Look, I know. I, I messed up. So yeah, I didn't realise that there was a fully fledged game week happening midweek this week. Uh, so I forgot to make a video and you guys now have until 7.30pm today as of this coming out to get your predictions in. So sorry for that, quick turnaround but it is what it is. Last week saw us predicting fewer games than normal and we didn't do too well. We only got three points from three results correctly predicted but we didn't get any score lines and frankly some of the games that I thought were dead certain like Arsenal Southampton didn't turn out that way. Our subscriber results for game week 32 show that Ben has finally come around to married life, managed to get himself back in the top three, but not only did he get himself in the top three, he still showed that his wife has better football knowledge than him because Annie came top with 12 points and Stuyven snuck in third place with five. Uh, me, Jackleus and Wilf are just going to forget that game week 32 happened. I'm about to make my predictions, but if you guys want to be on the leaderboard for next week, all you've got to do is make your predictions too. Get them in the comments down below and you could find yourself top of our leaderboard next week. It's a weekly competition, so it doesn't matter if this is your first ever episode. These midweek fixtures are insane. Manchester City versus Arsenal is easily the biggest of the lot. Essentially, whoever wins that game wins the title. And here's a question for you. Who do you think is going to win the title now? As of recording this, I think it's Man City, unfortunately. I don't want it to be Man City. I just think that Arsenal are definitely doing a Liverpool and they're letting this slip. Add a comment to your predictions now and let me know what do you think. Because I've got next to no time to get this video out and I you know, forgot to record it and are now in a massive rush, I'm going to do quick fire predictions today. I'm not going to research any of this. I'm not going to look at the form table, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to predict what I think might happen. So yet again, these predictions are probably going to be scuffed. Wolves and Crystal Palace, very even in the table. Only a couple of points between them. I don't think there's much between these two sides at the moment. Both sides have had kind of a mid-season and they'll be happy that they're just not in a relegation battle right now. I'm going to go for 1-1. Aston Villa versus Fulham. Fulham are still kind of struggling after such a good start to this season, but it's still a very strong campaign for them. Aston Villa, on the other hand, started horrifically under Gerrard and then somehow have come from the death and just skyrocketed up the table, really. I've put Aston Villa to win this one 2-1. Close game, but I think Villa come out with a win. And frankly, I want it to happen because I would find it quite funny if Liverpool didn't get European football this season. If either Leeds United or Leicester win here, they really do put the other team in trouble right down in their relegation battle. They're already in one, really, but a win here is basically a six-pointer. I've actually gone for them to draw, though. I've gone for a 2-2 draw. I don't think either team have really got what it takes to have the composure to get themselves out of this battle. I think Nottingham Forest are destined for relegation this season now. I don't really see them getting back out of that relegation zone. And they're up against Brighton here. Brighton played very well in the FA Cup against United. Very tight game. Went out on penalties. Quite unlucky to do so. Um, I think they were the better team over 90 minutes, if I'm honest with you. Well, 120 minutes as it was after extra time. I've gone for Brighton to win this one 2-0. Chelsea and Brentford both been rubbish recently. They're very much both mid-table teams at this point. Brentford will be gutted that they haven't taken advantage of the fact that people like Liverpool and Chelsea have had bad seasons because Brentford could have really done something this year, got European football, but it just isn't the case anymore. It's out of reach, in my opinion. So I've gone for a 1-1 draw here both teams just equally average with Spurs slipping up recently Liverpool have got a chance to catch up with Tottenham and get themselves back into European places they come up against West Ham and I think they will grind out a win here I've gone for 2-1 I think that Liverpool will most likely catch Tottenham by the end of the season but also probably overlap uh, Aston Villa as well, unfortunately. The biggest game of the lot, then we've got Man City versus Arsenal. Whoever wins this wins the title. And I'm holding on to a little bit of hope for Arsenal fans. I've gone for a draw, which I'm actually going to look at the table at this point. If they did draw, they go 76-71. Still five points ahead, two games in hand though. So it puts the ball in Man City's court. Arsenal have to win to stop Man City winning the title. I just don't think they're going to do it. I think Man City, if they do get a worst case scenario, a draw here, they'll win their two games in hand and they will top the league. And Man United fans will cry when they win the treble. I mean, I'm confident Man United win at Wembley. Bournemouth only really need one more win to get away from this relegation battle now at this point in the season. And they've got a ticket up against Southampton. 
Southampton are coming off a great performance against Arsenal, although equally it was just a really bad Arsenal performance, if I'm honest. Um, but I don't think Bournemouth are going to let that hit them at any, any way, shape or form. They're going to win this one. I've gone for 3-1 away win to Bournemouth. Southampton will be announced relegated, I reckon, a couple of games before the end of the season. Newcastle thumped Tottenham, scoring three goals in 10 minutes in that match at the weekend. And I've put them to score three goals in 90 minutes against Everton. I've gone for 3-0 to Newcastle. I think it'll be a straightforward win. And Newcastle are going to cement themselves as third place in the Premier League this year. Tottenham versus Manchester United. Manchester United are unfortunately going to do a favour to Liverpool. They're going to help Liverpool catch Tottenham by beating them 1-0 in this game. Going to be a tight one, but it's going to be enough to convince Harry Kane to join Man United in the summer. Because we have a track record of buying players that are probably past it. No offence, Harry. So here's my round of my Game Week 33 predictions. We've got Wolves and Crystal Palace to draw 1-1. Aston Villa to win 2-1 against Fulham. Leeds to draw 2-2 with Leicester. Brighton to win away at Nottingham Forest 2-0. Chelsea and Brentford to share the points 1-1. West Ham United to lose 2-1 at home to Liverpool. Man City to draw 1-1 with Arsenal and keep themselves as favourite in the title race. Southampton to lose 3-1 to Bournemouth at home. Newcastle to win 3-0 away at Everton. And Man United to grind out a 1-0 win away at Tottenham. So there we have it. Those are my quick fire predictions for today because we are in rush and I forgot to put a video out. So... Get in the comments right now. You don't have much time before the first game kicks off at 7.30pm tonight between Wolves and Crystal Palace. You need to get your predictions in now. Otherwise, uh, yeah, they won't count. So please do get them in as quick as possible. I'm sorry I put you guys in a rush. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. And yes, Ben, the video was too short. I didn't have time to make my predictions. Mate, it takes like two minutes to type some numbers in. Love you.